MLD, metachromatic leukodystrophy, is a leukodystrophy, as its name would imply, a white matter disease, but it's also a lysosomal disorder. And uh, lysosome is a part of the cell, kind of often loosely characterized as the, uh, the recycling center of the, of the cell. It comes, it's an autosomal recessive, meaning that you get genes from both mom and dad. And um, what happens is when you get the defective genes, an ARSA enzyme, ARSA, ARSA enzyme is lowered. And without that enzyme, there's a byproduct that builds up in the cells called sulfatide, and that sulfatide causes damage. So we're trying to get the ARSA enzymes back up or the sulfatides down, and there's all kinds of different therapeutic approaches for that. Um, about 50 or 60 percent of the cases are late infantile. First symptoms that you would observe, um, maybe as early as 12 months, but typically 18 to 24 months. And then those patients tend to, once they're symptomatic, they tend to drop and plateau and drop and plateau. And the lifespan may be these days with the good clinical care that we have, independent of therapeutic, uh, any therapeutic options, might be another five, six, seven years. Um, 20 to 30 percent of the cases are um, juvenile form, and we're starting to divide those into two types, depending upon if it's motor, motor skills, more, loss of motor, or uh, loss of cognitive first. Uh, and then there's an adult form of the disease that typically sh shows it uh, in the 40s or 50s. Um, the juvenile and adult forms of the disease progress more slowly. So uh, again, most patients today, because we don't have newborn screening, are identified either because of an older sibling who has MLD, in which case you're suspicious of younger siblings, it's a genetic disorder, um, and perhaps we can identify those, those patients pre-symptomatically when there are more therapeutic options. Um, but most of the patients uh, are showing symptoms, and unfortunately, once the damage is done, as, as the neurologist would say, a dead neuron's a dead neuron, and we don't know how to fix those yet. Um, once the damage is done, the, the, there are basically no therapeutic options, or, or in the case of the, the juvenile and adult forms, early symptomatic, um, um, the therapies are, still have some impact. Um, the, the test is surprisingly easy when you know what you're looking for. Of course, you can do genetic sequencing. Uh, there's over 300 mutations for MLD, and if it's one of the known mutations, uh, and you get a couple of those from mom and dad, then, uh, then, then we can make a, a diagnostic confirmation. Or it's a simple blood and a confirming urine test. Um, we have, uh, like many of the lysosomal disorders, we have a pseudodeficiency, uh, which uh, can confuse the blood test, so we also do a urinary sulfatide test.